What I'd like to do is provide a brief summary of how I understand Berger's theory on the sacred canopy and universe of meaning. So Berger was very similar to Weber and the postmodernist Bauman in the sense he was interested in how religion helped individuals find meaning in a meaningless world. So he comes from the social action approach to religion. Now Berger highlighted that religion provided three things. These were the universe of meaning, in which religion provides a universe of meaning and it shapes our understanding of the world around them. So everything that we experience, the whole world we inhabit, we understand through the help of religion, providing explanations on life, death, existence, as well as things like poverty, evil and injustice. The sacred canopy is like a protective shield, a protective blanket, which helps us to deal with uncertainties, meaningless pointlessness, or issues from everyday life, problems within our universe of meaning. When Berger came up with the idea of the sacred canopy, he wrote that in his thesis that human beings need to order their experience and do so by imposing subjectively constructed ordering ideas on reality. A meaningful order, or, or nomos as he called it, is imposed upon the discrete experiences and meanings of individuals. Berger uses the term nomos, and nomos is made up of society's worldview. So essentially, again, the sacred canopy helps us to understand the world, deal with issues, and provides a meaning. Lastly, he also talks about the homeless mind. These are individuals who have lost their religious beliefs and values and are left homeless with no meaning or values to attach to their lives. Now, Berger does argue that without religion, life would be meaningless for many individuals, but he does recognise that the functions of religion have been lost in contemporary society. One good thing that, again, he's recognising secularisation. So this is how I understand it. And this is my view, almost like society in a snow globe. So if we look at this first one here, you've got religion provides the universal meaning, which would be the snow globe and the understanding of the world around. So people understand the world around them, their snow globe that they inhabit because the universe of meaning is there. The sacred canopy would be the umbrella that provides shelter, comfort and protection from the issues of the world around them. So this would be a sacred canopy in effect and protection within the universe of meaning. Now, secularization has had a big influence on religion and has begun to break down the universe of meaning around us. So as the universe of meaning begins to break, obviously it starts to form cracks and, and our universe of meaning around the world around us begins to break down. This also applies to the sacred canopy. So because of secularization, the sacred canopy begins to break down as well. And we don't have that protective shield, that protective blanket that religion provides. As a result, we're no longer fully protected or comforted from the issues of the world around us. And so we're influenced by them and affected by them more. As a result of the growth of scientific thinking, this could lead for new individuals to form their own universe of meaning or a new universe of meaning in a non-religious way. So this is why the snow globe has now become a cube. So it reflects the new universal meaning that has been created by people following attitudes of science. The sacred canopy, the shelter is also changed. And again, that's being based and provided by science, often protecting them from issues caused by science. And last but not least, we have the homeless mind. So these are individuals who the universal meaning has completely broken down. They have no sacred canopy and they have no protection from the issues of the world around them. And so are left homeless in terms of their, their religious thinking and mind space. I don't know if this helps. This is how I visualized Burgess theory. It helped me kind of get my head around it. It may work for you. If it doesn't, don't panic. Don't, you know, just feel free to ignore this. But for me, this helped me make sense of his theory. And I hope it helps you as well. Thanks for watching.